Good morning. A very heartfelt welcome on behalf of the David Lynch Foundation and its newest division, Operation Warrior Wellness. And a very special welcome to our veterans and military leaders, to our scientists and medical researchers and guests and members of the press, both here in Los Angeles and connected via webcast all over the world today. In a little over four years, the David Lynch Foundation has brought the stress-reducing, health-promoting, brain-developing technique of Transcendental Meditation to close to half a million at-risk students in hundreds of schools in the United States and all over the world, and have started serving other at-risk populations, including Native Americans who are at very high risk of diabetes and heart disease, drug abuse, depression, and suicide, the homeless, as well as many homeless veterans, and many other groups throughout the world, including here on the streets of Los Angeles, children victimized by prostitution. Transcendental Meditation is the most widely researched and widely practiced technique for the reduction of stress and the promotion of health and the development of the brain of any technique. It's not a philosophy. It's not a religion or lifestyle. It's a very effortless mental technique practiced for a few minutes twice a day by millions of people all over the world. It was just a little over a year ago that we were hearing the question frequently, why not offer this to active service, active duty military personnel? Or why not to veterans? Why not to those who are at greatest risk and under the greatest stress in service to all of us? David Lynch and the Foundation embraced this immediately, and today we are teaching at military bases and military colleges, working with important veterans, organizations, and are engaged in broad research on warrior health and warrior resilience. Today, we will be launching formally Operation Warrior Wellness and our Resilient Warrior Program in Los Angeles in a very big way. This morning, we're going to hear a few brief statements from veterans and military leaders, a few key scientists, followed by a special announcement and formal launch of this program by David Lynch, followed by questions from the press and a photo op involving a group meditation here with veterans. And to begin, I'm very, very honored this morning to introduce Jerry Yellen, our co-chair of Operation Warrior Wellness an 87-year-old decorated former P-51 pilot from World War II. He landed on Iwo Jima on March 7th of 1945, strafed Japanese positions for the Marines, and flew 19 VLR missions over Japan. He and his wife of 62 years, Helene, have four sons and six grandchildren, three of whom live in the United States and three live in Japan. Jerry Allen. Thank you very much. I was just one of 16 million veterans of World War II. We represented 10% of our nation. My war lasted 40 months and covered most of the world. The Afghanistan War began in October 2001, the, October, the Iraq War in March of 2003. On this day in 2011, we have been at war in two small countries cumulatively for 18 years, 216 months. The financial toll on our country is immeasurable. The physical and mental toll on our troops is and has been devastating, a national disaster. Hundreds of thousands of active duty personnel, discharged veterans and their families suffer from post-traumatic, combat-induced stress, PTS. They are not getting the help that they need. We are here today with men and women who served our country in every war that we have fought since 1941. Among us are representatives of organizations dedicated to helping veterans overcome the scars of war, both physical and mental, 
and mental that allows them to find their way back into civilian life. I am proud, along with Ed Schloman, to represent Operation Warrior Wellness. We are working diligently with Iraq, Afghanistan, Afghanistan Veterans Association, the Wounded Warrior Pro Project, Women Veterans Association of America, and other organizations within the military to bring a solution to all veterans in need. We will expand on that information about our progress later today. All of us, all of our organizations, need the help of all of you to ensure the health and well-being of the 1% of the nation who have been protecting us these past years. We cannot wait. We need your help now. Thank you very much.